Once upon a time there lived a young boy named Tom who was always curious to learn new things. One day, while exploring the woods behind his house, he stumbled upon a mystical book glowing and floating in midair. As Tom approached cautiously, the book suddenly opened by itself and sucked him inside. Tom found himself transported to a magical kingdom called the Land of Knowledge. There were large castles with towers that touched the clouds and streets paved with gold. Tom walked by a beautiful fountain with a statue of a wise old wizard holding a stack of books. The wizard suddenly came to life and introduced himself as Merlin, the guardian of all knowledge in the kingdom. Merlin explained that the land of knowledge contained every fact and detail from history, science, art, and literature. All this knowledge was stored in the Grand Library, the largest building in the entire kingdom. Merlin invited Tom to join him on a tour of the library which was as big as ten football stadiums. There were shelves stacked from floor to ceiling with books of all sizes and colors. Tom was amazed to see people of all ages reading books and scribbling notes excitedly. In one section, scientists were busy making new discoveries. In another, artists were busy painting beautiful pictures. Tom had never seen so many books in one place before and his head spun at the thought of how much there was to learn. Merlin could see the excitement on Tom's face. He suggested that the best way to experience the library was to go on an adventure and visit different sections to learn new topics. Their first stop was the mathematics section, which looked like a giant calculator. The books here explained everything from simple addition to complex algebra. One book showed Tom how to multiply large numbers in his head which he found very useful. Their next stop was the science section that looked like a laboratory full of bubbling conical flasks and intriguing equipment. Tom learned about energy, gravity, and the human body. He was fascinated by astronomy books showing colorful pictures of planets and galaxies far away in the universe. At the geography section, Tom used magical globes to zoom into countries across the world. He visited Egypt and learned about pyramids, China to see the Great Wall, and rainforests in Brazil. Merlin gave Tom an atlas book which mapped the entire planet in great detail. Their next destination in the library was history which looked like a giant museum. Tom saw books and artifacts from the Stone Age, Ancient Egypt, Greece, Rome, the Middle Ages, and colonial times. There were realistic models of ships, castles, and famous battles. Tom was starting to understand how human civilization progressed through time. After a quick picnic lunch, Merlin and Tom visited sections on art, music, and literature. Tom practiced drawing images, playing instruments, and even wrote his own short story. By the end of the day, Tom's brain was full to the brim with new facts and knowledge. Merlin gave Tom a magical bottomless bag to hold all the books he wanted to take home. Tom carefully chose books about the topics he found most interesting like astronomy, geography, and history. Before leaving the land of knowledge, Tom turned to Merlin and asked, How will I remember everything I learned today? Merlin smiled wisely and answered, True knowledge comes from applying what you have learned. 
the more you read and practice, the more knowledgeable you will become. With those parting words, Merlin transported Tom out of the book back home. Tom kept reading the books from the magical library and practicing everything he learned. Over time, Tom became the most knowledgeable person in his town all thanks to his amazing adventure in the land of knowledge. He lived happily ever after with a head full of useful facts and a heart longing for more discoveries. The End